Good morning YouTube, it's the Lofty Biker here. Took a ride of Assault Ash again, come to JD Racing. What a super place this is. Today I'm going to test ride a supermoto. Not many people make supermotos anymore, but we have the KTM. Yeah, the single, the 690. Can't wait. See you in a minute. Okay, folks, it's a lofty biker here. What do you reckon to this? KTM 690 SMCR Supermoto 17 inch rims front and back 690 single. Let's have a look, see how we get on. A reassuring throb. Okay, let's go. So here we are then, YouTube. Just put my voice down. On the Caddington Road. So, is this a dying breed? That's what I'm going to ask. Supermotos. If you're used to riding a motocross, there, you'll find it a very comfortable place to be. Extremely tall, lots and lots of reg leg room, very narrow between the knees. I suppose that's for when you're standing up on them. It's a proper thumper. This is a proper thumper. It's a single cylinder thumper. Nyon 700cc, 691 and a half or something daft. So here we are in second gear. No, third gear, sorry. There is a gear indicator, but in third gear, just going up through the 30. We don't want to go mad yet. It's quite lumpy low down. You have to keep the revs going there. So it's up to 40. So we've got a bench style seat. Very narrow, very hard. But it's quite a comfy place to be. There's virtually no wind blast. We've got big mirrors. There's a little bit of vibe in the mirrors. Here we are just into the National and it's full of cars. I'll get back to you in a minute. Try a little third gear overtake. Picks up to 60 quite well. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'll get another one in. There's quite a bit of vibe through the handlebars, but that is just to be expected. We've got a nice easy overtake, looks like it. Okay, you get it revving and it goes well. Shoots up to 60, no problem at all. It does seem to thrive on revs. You know, it doesn't want to be lumping around at three or four thousand revs, it wants to be up there, six, seven, eight. Yeah, quite impressive. Quick shifter, auto blipper, absolutely perfect. Yeah, no problem there at all, no problem with the shifter. Quite a smooth gearbox. The levers are nice, everything seems to fall quite handily. But you do know, straight away, you know you're riding a single. You've got to keep it spinning a bit to ward off those nasty vibes. Anyway, it's pretty quiet. There's nothing behind me. Let's give the stoppers a check. So, 45 mile an hour back brake. Yep, 
That's pretty good actually, not bad at all. That's pretty good that is. So here we go again. 45 mile an hour, all clear behind. Frontons. Oh, them are superb. There's a lot of dive, but it's to be expected. It's a supermoto. I can't quite get used to using or not using the clutch and remembering it's got a shifter. It does work well. So here we are. I think I'll go a bit faster and put the brakes on. We're doing 50, both of them. Yeah. No problems, no ABS, nothing. Okay, so I'm going to take a slightly different route. I'm taking a right here. Never been down here before. I thought this might be the ideal territory to test out these two big bikes, or big singles, I should say. It's amazing, I'm 6'5", and when I pull up, my feet dangle and just about touch the floor. I would imagine the more vertically challenged amongst us might struggle a little bit getting used to it. If you've grown, like I said before, if you've grown up on crosses, you won't have any problem because you'll know how to slide onto one cheek and tippy toe about. Here we are down this uh, gravelly old lane, having a bit of fun. It's nice to be on something with quite supple suspension, absorbing all the bumps. You can, well, what am I, I'm doing 45 down here, no trouble at all, batting away. Thoroughly enjoying myself in the knowledge that if I put the brakes on it will stop. Here we go. I just take my time, I don't know tractors coming the other way. Not the noisiest of bikes, pretty quiet. I would imagine to get that proper thrub out the exhaust now you'd need a bit of an aftermarket pipe. I would imagine that KTM do one. How about this? A little bit of a... Whoa, that's tight. Steering turns on a sixpence. Look at that, on a sixpence. Over the bridge. I think we've got to take a left soon to get back up towards Caddington Road. So what we got, we've got two modes. We've got mode one, mode two. Now I believe in mode two it's more of an off-roader mode, or supermoto mode I should say. It disables the rear ABS. So it gives you that chance you can lock it up and slide it about as much as you want. There is a traction control button, you can turn it off. I'm not going to turn it off because I'm no hero. I'm just a normal road rider. Who hasn't got a clue where he is. But I'm having a ball. Here it is the junction. We've got to take a left. Ah. Nice and quiet. Here, oh, here we go. Look at these little devils. Fly off. So, yeah, that quick shift is superb. I should imagine if you're a bit of a wheelie demon, it's the sort of bike where you could pull wheelies without any trouble at all. But we're on a test ride, and we're certainly not going to be pulling any wheelies. It's great round these back lanes. Nice big wide bars. As I say, there's quite a bit of vibe, but that's to be expected. Road's clear. The blipper is sublime. This bike is very easy to ride fast in this environment. One thing I've noticed in my big hands the brake lever only fits three of my fingers. But to be fair, you only need three of your fingers to stop this. It's got beautiful steering. Yep, 
yeah if you if you're looking for a second bike to have a bit of fun on where you don't want to take out your big heavyweight type pride and joy I think one of these could be serious fun now I'm looking for a left turn oh we've got a big lorry coming oh, we don't want to have a fight with him he's too big thank you mate That's the signpost, St Melian, Saltas Callington. The steering is so positive. Bit of breakage, throw it in. Got a crossroads coming up, nice and steady. Have a look, see if anything is there. Clear. Here's the island. Oh, we got there pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit of ball. Should we go around the island? Let's go around the island. Knee down. No, I'm joking. Oh, these tyres are like glue. It's so easy. Yeah. We'll just put into the hotel. Yeah, it absolutely flies up to 60. Right, here we are find a nice place to take some pickies this one will do okay let's get my helmet off and have a walk around good morning YouTube hey Lofty's here again look at this KTM from Saltash JD I bet that whoa it's a big stretch that's a big stretch so when I plonk my, my weight on it it softens down till my legs are slightly bent but if I stand up and ease the suspension, my legs are straight. I'm six foot five, I've got about a 34, 35 leg. It's a tall bike. So I'll just rest it on the side, stand and put my leg up. There you go, it goes all the way over. That's better. What do you think of that? Very narrow, very sculpted. Not much there. Typical sc uh, scrambler seat. Well, motocross seat, I should say. Starts there, finishes there. It's very long. It's very hard. So, if you wanted to get forward and get your feet in for the old super moto turn, or drop your foot all the way back, wheelie in, it's all there. This will do the lot. It's a bit of a tour. <laughs> it might make you naughty. Anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Okay, let's have a look at it. It's very orange, very grey, very smart, very sticky rubber. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Just have a walk around. It's basically a motocrosser with 17 inch rims, sticky rubber. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? Pretty damn good. I like it. I really do. I think it looks good. Anyway, let's have a look at the instruments. So. The key's here in the centre of the petrol tank. Well, it's not a petrol tank, I tell a lie. The key's here at the front, next to the water coolant. So you turn it on, there's your dash. Can you see? Very, very simple. This is your idiot lights for the ABS and the traction control. Can you see it there? You've got an oil pressure light, indicator light, um, you've got a gear indicator, miles per hour, revs per minute. Let's just fire it up. Too much noise upset everybody, but what do you think? Hey, it's all right, isn't it? So simple. We got adjustable Brembo radial on the front, 
kill switch, start switch, that's it this side. Coming across, adjustable clutch, we've got lights, high and low, indicators above the horn, on. This little device here, so the top one is to traction control. So you press and hold, the traction control goes out and the light on the dashboard will come on. The traction control's on, so the light stays on here. Then you've got your mapping, you've got one, which is standard road mapping for normal use. Two is your supermoto map. I've left it in one, I don't need the supermoto, I don't need to disable anything. Mirrors, pretty good, big shaped. I quite like them to be fair. In general, the finish looks fabulous. It does look good. Here's a strange one, the fuel cap. It's in the back. So the, somewhere here next to the pipe, the silencer, is the fuel. It's quite strange, isn't it? So let's tell you exactly what we've got. This is the 2022 model year. 690 SMCR. The Street Slayer. How about that for a name? We've got the scalpel, the Street Slayer. They love it, don't they, KTM? It's a 690cc LC4 single cylinder motor. The one thing about this bike is that KTM have got it up to a 10,000 kilometre service interval, just over six, six and a half thousand miles, which for a bike of this style is pretty good, really. We've got a tubular trellis frame, we've got a long swinging arm, look at that swinging arm, it's huge. There's not much to moan about, not much to look at, it's what it is. It literally looks like a motocrosser with a trellis frame, fantastic. Well, for a small bike, single, it chucks out 74 brake at 7,500. Like I say, once you get up in that rev 6, 7,000 mile, it really does take off. It's beautiful. Uh, 54 foot pound, which ain't bad for a single, at 6,000 revs. We've got a Bosch twin channel ABS, and we've got a very lofty 892 millimeter seat height. But as I say, when you put your weight on the suspension, it does compress quite a lot. Small tank, 13.5 litres, and it's about wet, it's about 170 kilos wet, so it's a light bike, very light bike. It's got white power apex, look at those, upside down boys, they are huge aren't they, 48 mil I believe, massive things, top of the range apex. Not electronic, not electronic, there's the shock, straight down the middle there, in between the back there, the back of the engine. Awesome, isn't it? Brembo radials on the front. It's quite difficult to see because they're on the side where the side stand is. Can you see? Big radials with a 320 stopper. Single disc, that's all you need, and it does stop it. So we'll come round, chain driver core, six speed box. On the rear. On the rear, we've got single pot Brembo again. Uh, this is a 240 mil. 240 mil disc. We're running Batlaxes, Bridgestone Batlaxes, S21Rs. Very sticky, very sticky, very nice indeed. The, the size of the tyres, it's pretty standard rubber really. A 120-70-17 and a 160-17 on the rear. It's pretty good in it really. It's in a bad looking bike. Even the tail, tail end don't look bad. I think it's one of them, if you like orange and grey, You'll love it, because it's fun to ride. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my helmet on and give it a bit of a thrash down the main road back to Saltash. I've had a blast around the lanes. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I'll see you in a minute. So, I'm back with you. There's one very strange thing I've noticed. I'll see if I can show it you, if I can. So, we've got the speedometer here, and that's the revometer, the tachometer. It shows an eight. And it's a series of eights. Two eights is moderate. Four eights is full punk. I just think that's quite strange. <laughs> anyway. Let's get it going again. The quick shifter is so sensitive. If you rest your foot against it, it literally goes into the next gear. So what I would say is, especially if you're wearing big motocross style boots or whatever, maybe not, maybe so, be very positive with the shifter. Here we are. Is he going to pull out? No, he's, he's stopped. 
So, back down the main road. Because we've done a bit of back lane scratching. Here we go. There's more than enough poke in this bike. More than enough poke. There's a hell of a lot of fork dive. It can catch it out if you're not used to it. Dropping down into the 30. Average speed cameras. <laughs> so there we are. 27, 28 mile an hour doing. One bar on the revometer, which is an eight. So ticking over, just ticking over. It's quite strange, I've not ridden a single for years, or when I say single, I mean I've not I've ridden one two fives or whatever, but not a big single with a bit of poke. You know, you've got 75 brake on this. I think as far as singles go, 75 brake horsepower is about about as much as it gets really. Amazing. So down to the island. Ah, this is the island when I turned off, I think. Round the lanes, superb round the lanes. The indicator's nice. Shall we do a few overtakes again? It's all clear. Actually, when you get it up to 60 odd, there's not quite so much vibration, but you just drop it below 55-50, which is a speed you'd use a lot. There's, there's quite a tingle through the seat, quite a bit of vibe. Have we got another one here? No? Well, hang back. Just hang back. This is a little place called Painter's Cross. Well, I think the engine's lovely. I think the gearbox is superb. As I say, the quick shifter, uh, it's a bit sensitive. All right, it's very sensitive. You've got to be precise with it. When you're riding it in earnest and you're riding it pretty quick, it's fantastic. But when you've been bling about and you tend not to be so forceful with your foot, it, it can give you a bit of a falseness, if you know what I mean. But the blipper, look at that, two gears, no problem. So here we go. Building, building, building. That's so smooth, that is. That's a lovely shifter. I'm not surprised KTM set a few of these bikes because they are good fun. I don't know whether I'd want one as my only bike. I really don't. I think it might be a bit too much. But like I say, if you want to go out for a bit of fun, thrashing around the lanes and the back roads, I think you'd find it hard to find anything that'll give you as much fun as this. I'll just give you one more overtake. Here we go, ready? How about that? Hey, is that just lovely? <laughs> Let's put a smile on my face anyway. I'm looking forward to taking the big red beast out the gas gas in a minute. Same engine. I think approaching islands and stuff, I really do think you're better off bracing the back brake. Just just base the bike against the back brake. It avoids that fork dive because it is powerful enough to slow you down and stop you. Should we do one more? Just have a look. Nah, it's a bit busy, isn't it? So when you're coming up to a junction or an island or whatever, just drop a cog, give it a bit of back brake just to steady it, slow yourself down, then round you go. The front brake is for stopping. Here we go, front brake, stopping. But you get that dive, you see what I mean? So if you're coming round the bend, and you just want to scrub a bit of speed off or to blip one and just put the back brake on and it's smooth and steady, keeps the bike level 
Ah, you'll get used to it when you get one. <laughs> you'll get one. Anyway, have you enjoyed it? I hope my enthusiasm hasn't shone through too much. <laughs> I think it's a cracking bit of fun. You know, when I took out that little 310 GS and I was giving that a bit of thrash, if you could imagine giving one of them little 310 steroids and 75 brake horsepower, you've pretty much got one here. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to ring the bell and don't forget to subscribe. Ask me a question, I'll do my best to answer it for you. If you do fancy one of these, pop up to Sultash, they're as good as gold, they're ever so friendly. And I wouldn't believe everything you hear about KTMs. They are good bikes, they're well made, the finish is absolutely superb. I really think they're good. So I'm going to end it on that one. This is the Lofty Biker saying ta-da for now. Ta-da!